In a surprise modification to its usage guidelines, OpenAI has revised its policy to permit the utilization of its technologies for military applications. Previously, the policy explicitly prohibited the use of OpenAI products for military and warfare purposes, but this restriction has now been removed without any official announcement. The Intercept first brought attention to this alteration, which appears to have taken effect on January 10th. Frequent adjustments to policy language occur in the tech industry as products evolve, and OpenAI is no exception. While the recent unveiling of user-customizable GPTs and a vaguely outlined monetization policy may have prompted some policy updates, the elimination of the No Military Clause appears to be a distinct and consequential shift. OpenAI contends that the alteration makes the policy clearer and more readable, but critics argue that it represents a substantive policy change rather than a mere rephrasing. The current usage policy, accessible here, deviates significantly from its predecessor, as highlighted in provided screenshots. Opinions may vary on whether the rewritten policy is more user-friendly, with some favoring the prior bulleted list of explicitly disallowed practices. OpenAI, however, emphasizes the broader applicability of its revised guidelines, asserting that the principle of don't harm others is easily understood and relevant in various contexts. Despite the removal of the specific prohibition on military and warfare, OpenAI maintains a categorical ban on the development and use of weapons, distinct from its original stance. According to Nico Felix, a representative of OpenAI, this prohibition remains in place. The distinction highlights that not all military activities involve weapon development, and various non-combat-related endeavors, such as basic research, investment, small business support, and infrastructure projects, fall within the purview of military establishments. Speculation arises regarding OpenAI's potential interest in new business opportunities within non-combat military domains. The company's GPT platforms could prove valuable, for instance, in assisting army engineers in summarizing extensive documentation related to a region's water infrastructure. Balancing relationships with government and military funding presents a challenge for many companies, and OpenAI's policy change suggests an openness to serving military customers. Despite requests for confirmation or denial, the company has yet to respond, leaving the possibility of military applications open, as implied by the revised policy language. This stance raises questions about delineating boundaries when dealing with military-related projects, even under a revised policy.